person has had severe back pain for the last five years since she was hit by a car. And I'm going to examine her back in a way that's different and that will allow you to find out more about her pain than anything else. So what I'm doing is I'm feeling for her sacroiliac joints, okay? These are her, this is her ilium. And this here is her sacrum. And the sacroiliac joints, where the ilium meets the sacrum, is right here. And you can, you feel for it with your thumbs, and you feel for the PSISs. This is one PSIS, this is another PSIS. If you look, you'll notice that this one is higher than this one. You feel it by bringing your thumbs up against the PSIS. So, because this is higher than this, I know, and this is where she, is this where you have pain? Yeah. Okay. This is where she has pain. So I know that this here is not in its right position. So now we will work at putting it back where it belongs. This is your sacroiliac joint. This is where the ilium meets the sacrum. And every step you take moves the sacroiliac joint. It is your body's main shock absorber. It protects your spine from the shock of every step you take. If you're feeling for a sacroiliac joint, you're feeling these, these bulges on the bone called the posterior superior iliac spines. When one of them is higher than the other, it means that the bone has tilted forward. If the painful one is lower than the other, it means the bone is tilted backwards. And this is what you're feeling for. How tilted is the bone when you're examining a sacroiliac joint? going to ask you to pull on the chair as hard as you can. Pull it as if you're trying to lift up the seat of the chair because you're wanting to really squish your thigh against your pelvis because you're going to be using your thigh to straighten out your pelvis and bend your knees. You really want this to be totally squished. And if you do this for two solid minutes without stopping, it's going to be the longest two minutes you have to do. But I think at the end of the two minutes, you should feel a lot better. When the bone is tilted forward, you use the thigh to push the ilium backwards. When the bone is tilted backwards, you're going to push down on the thigh to bring the ilium forward. If you have a posterior subluxation, if the ilium is tilted backwards, what you want to do is you want to tilt it forward. And in order to do this, you immobilize the other sacroiliac joint by holding the leg tightly against the chest. And then you are going to hyperextend this leg to bring the ilium forward and you hold this position for two solid minutes. See I'm putting my fingers here so I feel it going down and I know that these are the PSISs and now that she's done the exercise for two minutes her PSISs are perfectly level. This is what you're looking for. Because when the PSISs are level, the pain is gone.